This is the position at the end of centering operation. The next operation is drilling as is shown in this drawing. This hole should be drilled. Dimensions of this hole are given in this drawing also. This is diameter 3.5 and depth of uh, the hole 18 millimeter. These values are essential for defining machining parameters for drilling. A tool from B-axis will be used for this operation. Let's check in the tool catalog. This is our B-axis and on position T301 we have our drill. Of course, we can program by hand several passes of drilling, but this is a tedious method and it is also tedious later to change a code. Cycles made by Fanuc and Tornos are available and they facilitate programming. They are mentioned in this figure. The first Fanuc cycle, G83, executes multi-pass drilling, longitudinal drilling, with a constant stroke. One stroke means the distance drilled during one pass. And for each drilling pass, this distance is the same. At the end of each pass, there is a retraction of a material to break and remove chips. The second FANUC cycle, G83.6, works in a similar way. The only difference is that material retracts at the end of each pass by a distance long enough that the tool goes completely outside of a hole when removing chips. The other FANUC cycles shown here are dedicated to transversal drilling, but the principle of their work is the same as that for front drilling cycles. All of these cycles are called CAND cycles. I have to add that these FANUC cycles are also modal cycles. It means that when one of them is called, the mode drilling mode is on. As long as this mode is active, parameters of a cycle are maintained. At the end, when the work of a cycle is completed, we need the other G code to cancel this drilling mode. This is G80. The same function has any code from group 0, 1, like rapid traverse G0, linear interpolation G1, circular interpolation G2, G3. Let's focus on the Tornos cycles. The first one, G977, is an advanced one. It performs multi-pass drilling, but it also offers the possibility of decreasing the stroke length. You see that subsequent strokes are shorter and shorter, as it is shown in this drawing. G965 cycle performs interrupted machining. First, there is working movement and after it stop and material retracts a little to break and remove chips. This method of interrupted machining can be used for operations like turning, milling, and of course drilling operation with constant stroke. We select FANUC cycle G83.6 to use in our program for the sample part. The detailed description of all cycles, both by FANUC and TORNOS, which I mentioned, can be found in the TORNOS programming manual as you see it.
Naturally, the FANUC cycles are also described in the FANUC documentation for lathes. Having selected the cycle for drilling, we can return to our program. First, we should position a bar for drilling. And after it, call the cycle. We haven't mentioned the list of parameters of this cycle. And this is the reason why an error here is displayed. To find what, which parameters we should define, it isn't necessary to browse through documentations I mentioned a while ago. We have a wizard in TCs. Let's click on the wizard icon, and then window opens with the list of parameters. The same is described in this figure at the bottom. The list is quite extensive, but it is sufficient to define only these parameters which are necessary. They are outlined here in red. Let's discuss now these parameters and also explain how the cycle works. But at the beginning, I have to make one remark. To make this figure more clear, and easier to explain, it is prepared as a tool was moving. Of course, we know that on our DT26HP machine, a tool is fixed and moves a material. But rules how this cycle works are valid for our machine as well. First, there is movement to the initial position. This is step one. In our case, this is this positioning G0, Z3 here. The next step is also rapid movement to R position. R is one of the arguments of the cycle, but it isn't necessary to define its value in each case. When it is omitted, then we go to the next step. Next step, third, is working movement. This is movement by one stroke, the length of one pass, and it is defined in parameter Q. This parameter needs a short comment. You have noticed maybe that here in this window, the unit is given, this is 0 0.1 micrometer, and it is also mentioned here in the figure. It means that the value of Q should be defined as multiple of machine axis resolution. And for our machine, DT26HP, this is exactly 0 0.1 point micrometer. If we would like to define a stroke of length one millimeter, then in parameter Q, we should enter 10,000. After this working movement, there is step four. This is retraction to R position if R is defined. If not, then to the initial position. The purpose of this movement is removing chips. And then there is a return into a hole to the distance D from the current bottom of a hole. D, you can see, is mentioned here as a cycle argument, but we don't see it in this window. We can omit this value. And in this case, for cycle execution, is taken the value stored in the machine parameter number 5115. The passes are repeated until the bottom of the hole expressed here as Z is reached. Z is also argument of the cycle. The list of arguments is completed by P. This is a dwell at the bottom of a hole expressed in millisecond and feed rate of drilling. The parameters X, C and K 
I used when we would like to drill eccentric holes. In brackets, U, H and W show that we can define position in axes respectively, X, C and Z incrementally. After this explanation, we can return to our form to enter the necessary values. So first we should enter the depth of the hole. We don't define our position for our drilling operation. So in this case, we have put bigger value for Z. That is why I'm entering minus 21.5. This is correct. The next one is feed rate. And the last one is stroke Q. We assume that the length of one stroke would be equal to the diameter of a drill. So in this case, we should introduce 35,000 as the value of Q. Now we have all necessary values, so we can close this window. Our cycle is called and in the next line we should deactivate drilling mode using G80. The next line, this is the retraction of a bar after drilling and that's all.